Hello everyone, welcome back to Action Hank. Today I'm gonna be doing the uh, the guides of these second hope levels, the King of the Jungle level batch. Um, to be fair, I haven't played these levels in like forever, but you know, maybe, maybe I can still do some good stuff here. Uh, full swing ahead is the first level here, and I mean, you can you can just watch my ghost in, in detail and. Uh, and try to do it that way as well, even if I can't uh, do it later on. Um, this is taking quite a while to load. There we go. Okay, so you jump basically right as you start. Hook, and then hook again here. So that they can... You need to hit this as early as possible, and then you bump against this wooden block and then hook back up the other way around. This is the fastest way and you jump down here, hook once, twice and then slide down here. This is the tricky part, you need to make a good swing around here and then swing in such a way that you hit the turbo pad and jump off and then swing around. I know it is possible without, um, uh, how do I say, it? W without jumping off the turbo pad and rather just uh, keep swinging, which is I think also faster and that might be how the world record run did it, but it's so hard and I'm already so far behind my, my PB here. Damn it, that was gonna be good. Yeah, with this second hook, it really, it really uh, has has a big effect on how your first split time looks. Because if you go too high here, you're gonna lose time, and you're all, and you're also not gonna really make it around here because you're you need to drop further, further down so you can get a long enough rope. That's what I meant, I mean, I got the boost from the turbo pad and I kept swinging, but I, I did it improperly, so I just couldn't hook around that block. That was pretty much what I was talking about. Yeah, that run sucked overall, but get the idea now. So, uh, okay, let's try and do one half decent run actually. Uh, okay, that that last swing was too long, otherwise it was a fairly okay run, I would say. Woo! So, hook mace is gonna be the next level. I don't know why everything is, is taking forever to load. Uh, hook mace, I have no idea how I did that time, it was pre pretty much a lucky run, but... We can still look at it and see what I did. So you grab the hook, jump, slide on this wall, and then hook, let go of hook and do the hook jump, 
slide down here. Hook right as you leave the... Right, as, uh, right at the end of the, of the slide, do the hook jump. That looked weird. Then uh, swing around here. That was really tight, man. And you gotta also swing around this. Keep swinging, because that is faster than running. Then try to hook as tight as possible up here. But also make sure to land on the first turbo pad. Because oftentimes if you if you land like on the middle of the first turbo pad or even after it, then you're just gonna not have the speed to have to make a good time at the at the very end. Yes, your your split time is probably gonna be faster, but you know it doesn't matter. Because the last split time really really doesn't matter. What matters is your time at the end, right? The time when you cross the finish line. But yeah, that's not how you. That's how I used to do it. Obviously, is to jump at the end and then hook, but that's not the strat anymore. Man, I'm so far behind already. As I said, like that, my PB was just unlucky running. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that time ever again, but. Unless I practice this like 24 7. That was a really bad swing. Frame rate was just really, really terrible for a second. Um, oh man, that could have worked. That was also pretty close. Not in terms of time, but oh, that was a decent one. And yeah, then I messed that up. Enough speed. Oh, that was so close. That was gonna be good actually. Ah, okay. That, that was more along the, along the lines of what I was looking for, but sadly couldn't make it up there. You see, there, that time I went too far on that on that hook, and it cost me time at the end. But overall, you know, I have decent run. So throwback, I I just don't get this map. <laughs> I just don't get it. Oh, old skin as well. Um, so you jump onto this onto this wooden block at the right, onto this wall. You hook off to hook jump, and then you hook again, and try to release it in such a time that you go relatively at a steep angle, and then you, then you got a hook off of this block up here, and that is really tricky. That's really, that's really hard. And you jump into this, jump off that, do. 
to do a hook slide up here then and then once you let go you hook you hook up there so you uh wait let me let me go back here you hook here because otherwise you would just go flying upwards for forever and this will just make it so you go downwards like following the course and, and whatnot yeah and there's the finish line I I'm honestly not really sure if <laughs> how, what, like how I'm gonna do here because not only have I not played this this map in like months also it's really hard to do Yeah, you gotta be quick on that, on that hook. That is also something you can do, but it is slower, of course, as you saw. Like, if you get a hook so that you can walk up that left wall and then jump off of it into the next section, then that also works, you know, for getting rain rainbow or stuff like that. supposed to do the hook jump like here at the second gray at that second gray marker excuse me Hank why are you no longer doing hook jumps there we go Yeah, but then you're not gonna have enough speed to really jump across that gap. If you don't make it up with one swing. This is really hard, if I haven't said that before. Oh man, that was... That's gonna be so good. And then I can't even make it up. That was way too late on the hook. Can't do it. This was just a little bit lower. Ok, 
Okay, that was at least a complete run. It wasn't a good one. Well, let's move on. What? I'm fourth here? Second best on my friends list? On Flappy Swing? Well, I'll take that. Again, don't expect me to be able to repeat that time. <laughs> so you grab the hook and jump immediately. Slide here. Swing, do a hook jump and then hold left. Because you want to drop down here and not hit that right wall. Here you want to hook as late as possible. And then jump up here. Not hit either of the walls. This is this is tricky because usually you bounce into one of those walls and then you have to do wall jumps and that's slower. Then you hook across this gap. Hook right here. And then here it's important that you sort of lose speed so you don't go very high off of this off of this wall and not lose valuable time before going down into this ramp. Here you want to do a hook jump and you want to hook this as early as possible so I, I hold the hook button before you know that block actually appears while I'm already sliding because I find it easier that way. Excuse me, why? Why didn't you hook jump? Thank you. Can't even do this anymore. There we go. That was also not very good. Yeah, you you wanna go as flat as possible there, and not not as high as I did. even worse. That was probably a bit too high. Yep, that's what I meant. Okay, I'm going way too high there and losing speed. Okay. Decent. And actually a really good time here. 1935, I didn't expect that. That would put us in... Well, 7th place, if I wasn't 4th already. Nice. I like that. Good run. Um, right round baby is <laughs> it's a tricky one because there are a lot of uh, things to remember when you're trying to set a fast time here. Um, first of all, it is fastest to swing in such a way that you sort of go very flat here and then not use those turbo pads. Then you're gonna hook in such a way that you hit this turbo pad, which is very, very hard already. Then here you want to slide, you want to touch the ground so that you can hook and then do a hook jump up. That is the fastest way there. Then you hook here, swing off the first one and swing off the third one, you skip the middle one, and then do this do this sort of hook again, jump off that right wall, slide down here, jump, 
and and then jump off of this while holding slide because that will give you a much different angle and you can skip the hook altogether. This requires a lot of speed to, to do well though and you gotta do this jump here, make land in time and then jump off of it to make the gap. Again this requires a lot of speed so if, if you're not going fast enough beforehand then you're not gonna make that last jump because it is actually quite quite some distance to cover. Quite a gap to cover. That was not very good so far. How did I make this first try? I'm surprising myself. It wasn't a particularly strong time with all those with all those kings, but even being able to finish a run like that with all those tricks in one is kind of amazing. Uh, and now I can't do this anymore. Yeah, that is just the wrong angle to, to approach that part anyway. than the previous attempt until here. Oh, I barely touched it but couldn't jump off it. By the way, this route is thanks to Badback Shark, the current number one of, of the Action Hank uh, overall leaderboard. He has been number one for a while. And he found all, like, most of these, these tricks anyway. Thankfully he streamed this, this map once and I could, I could learn from him. Also, I mean, you can just watch his goals, right? Don't need him to stream this. so far oh we actually came really close to to our PB here only five hundredths of a second behind nice getting the hang of it I would say um, jungle cedar is <laughs> pretty bullshit um, so there's one part and I'm gonna you know, explain it a little bit more in, in detail. There's one part that really can make or break your good time. So here there's just a regular oh, jump, jump, jump in here. Swing on in there, jump down, swing across. Uh, nothing too special here yet. And obviously you don't want to hit in either of these walls here. I'm gonna go up, through the gap, Swing around, land on this bounce, uh, land on this uh, spring trap, and here is the tricky part. You use these turbo pads, slide, you jump out, and at the end of this you jump again, and then you hook around this block. In such a way that you hit the first turbo pad already. Didn't really do a great jump, a uh, great job of that here. But what's also important here is that you. Um, excuse me. Well, I'm gonna go a little bit further back so that this part is properly loaded. What's also important is that right here, then you you hook, you hook. Uh, that upper block there while holding slide because this will accelerate you like crazy and then you jump off of the of that quarter pipe and, sw and swing all the way to the finish line 
man this is like this took me so long to actually do it you know half decently there's still a lot in it which is why you know my time is about what what one and a half seconds behind top time or something like that Okay, why didn't you hook there, Hank? Yeah, that timing... That timing there is crazy. There I was thinking, oh, I'm going so fast, I need to hook really soon, but uh, I actually had a little bit more time. Yeah, this is not what you want to do. Yeah, and then just fail altogether. That was too tight actually. You wanna go around this block pretty tightly. And that was too late. This is gonna take a lot of attempts to get right, I can already tell that. And I didn't get that last part quite right, but this was not so bad. 2596. Oh, that would that would get us ahead of Blinky. It was a 2596, not a 2696. So it would be it would still be in seventh place. Nice. Trouble Cedar's bonus. I dislike this one as well because I just can't get right. You jump here, hook over here, and then you hook that very upper uh, part to hook jump up go up here and drop down don't jump down so you can get this coin and also have a decent swing for that coin you're gonna have to slow down there anyway there's no way you can make all of that in one swing uh, and then you drop down here and then you do a hook jump up to the last one. This, by the way, is pretty much also what these guys did. So, yeah, there's still some time in it. Oh, that's, that's what you were supposed to do. No more monkey business. Oh yeah. Nope. Get an end in that uh, half pipe very precisely. How did I not get that coin? Was I too fast? It's 
Excuse me. Spring trap, please activate. Yeah, that was just way too way too short of a swing to really make that uh, really I landed just behind it and didn't get it close to my PV. That was really bad. No more slow at, at the end there because I didn't do that middle part properly okay well I guess that's it then that was all the levels of hold on tight uh, no not hold on tight uh, king of the jungle Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like or a comment if you did, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.